I am just like, ooh, 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 ooh. hello, hello, my loves. I'm trying to, oh, there we go. Hi. Hello, my lovelies. I am coming to you guys today. Just happy to be here. How is everyone doing? A lot of you probably have just gotten off work. Oh my gosh. Hey, everybody. Hey. What is going on? Hello, hello. Hey, Courtney. What's going on, Court Court? Hey. Oh, my gosh, Court. Remind me to send you pictures of that avocado plant. It is popping. Okay. That baby has resurrected. And it's fly, uh, it has leaves and everything now. I am so excited. I am so excited. <laughs> Ooh, it is a nice and hot out here today. Guys, oh my goodness. Um, I got in this car, that temperature was like 102. Hey, you turned that you turned that air conditioning up on max. So like, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> hurry up. You know, it was it was a bit tepid up in here. And my hair my hair got to swelling up <laughs> my hair was like <laughs> oh one of the blessings of being black huh oh my gosh so I am just um you know I am all about healing right mind body emotions I am all about healing and so I use everything that I go through in my life to help other people heal and so I decided that I am going to do like a really good um, log a video log of what I went through since May up until now um, woo, I'm telling you picking the wrong person that is outside of the will of God for your life will disrupt everything it's like a cyclone a hurricane or whatever you want to call it it'll come through your life and try to uproot everything and so i decided I, you know as far as, as far as part of my healing journey i am going to make a video i'm going to do it on my youtube and share it with you guys a video of everything that i went through because i went outside of the will of god to try to choose a mate boy oh boy <laughs> hold on to your socks for this one i'm telling you because there is a lot of information i'm gonna put on that video in all seriousness that um it's gonna be like dang for real but you know that's what happens when you go outside the will of god i'm telling you and you know i cannot ever twist my lips to ever say God does not warn me not to do something because he does he always lets off the sirens and be like Roo! and I do it anyway because I'm hard headed but one of the things this time in all seriousness when I started praying and I even play, I'm not playing with y'all guys I was contacting every ministry I knew praying to get out of this thing Oh my gosh. And when I tell you guys showed up and showed up. Oh my gosh. But we're going to talk on the video about this scar. And what this scar what this scar came from. Why is it here? And the whole um, methodology behind why I won't even cover up this scar. Okay. Why I leave this scar here. This scar is a reminder to me 
of a covenant with God that he will never leave me nor forsake me. And God protected me from a very psychotic schizophrenic that was on drugs. Um, and I am grateful that, first of all, not only did I get out of this without being um, killed, okay, but I was able to easily, you know, get out of this. And I am just blessed beyond measure. So I am so grateful. I am so grateful. Y'all have no idea. But stay tuned for the um, YouTube video. Because I'm going to talk about it. And this is not about um, defamating anyone. Or anyone's character. It's not about that. Because that's not what I'm about. But this is part of my journey of healing. Okay. I want to talk to you guys in all seriousness about where you guys are at one of the things that I started thinking a lot about over the past few months in all seriousness was how much my poor decision how much it separated me from helping people that really needed my help um, and I really thought a lot about that because um, I've been watching quite a bit of people struggling for a long time with um you know getting their health in order doing what is right with their body it's a few people that i know that really need to work on their inner person you know just a bit you know get a little more cocoon with god you know things of that nature and so that's one of the things that god has been pressing upon my heart you know now that he he corrected this stuff that I did <laughs> now that he corrected this thing he's like okay baby as God always talks about okay baby uh, it's time for you to get back out there you know I gave you I gave you your time to get yourself together it's time to get up out there you're not about to dwell here and feel sorry for yourself and I said you know what you're right you're right I'm not because I'm grateful I am so grateful. You guys have no idea how much you appreciate something once you don't have it. Okay? And that's what it is, is that I think that a lot of you, um, you know, you are at a point in your lives where, yes, you're having health challenges, but you're not at the point where those health challenges are stopping you from having a quality of life. And so you're not taking this serious enough. I'm trying to tell you guys, do not let it get to a point where you start losing your freedoms in your health because you playing around with your health, okay? It's time. It's time that you guys really get serious about your health. And I'm, for one, am in the same boat. You know, I had stopped working out and things of that nature. Um, and we're going to get into that on in the video as well. But, um, you know, I'm back exercising. So I'm super sore, of course, because I have not exercised in several months. So I'm super sore, you know, and I'm doing, I'm doing my due diligence now. I have been cleansing my body, uh, cleansing my body of toxicity. Um, I'm working on my digestive system right now. Um, once I'm done with my digestive system, I do it just like you guys do. I cleanse your digestive system out there and I put you guys on mucus detoxification. And that's what I'm doing for myself. But my the only difference is that I'm doing my mucus detoxification and doing my digestive at the same time. Because I'm a little more used to herbs than you guys are. Okay. Um, but, you know, it's just, I, I just really, I'm really back. And I really want you guys to get this together. In all seriousness and so I'm I'm pushing it a lot harder than I used to with you guys I am going to be following up so if you are a person that I have worked with or you even contacted me about your health you are going to hear from me um, I'm just trying to organize things a lot so that I can reserve times every day to reach out to people because I know people are want to talk to me one-to-one uh, -to -one and tell me things so I want to make sure I reserve enough time what well, Courtney said I was able to lose eight of the 17 pounds I gained need to get all the way back on the horse myself yes yes Courtney it is time honey 
um i am just like i'm not playing about this weight because i really got out of shape oh my gosh and so i am really 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 pushing myself to get my little tush in gear exercising okay and i of course am going back to predominantly raw eating i am going to be eating some cooked foods every now and again um but don't forget because i told you guys i'm gonna start doing the vlogs uh and they're gonna be on my youtube channel as well so they're not gonna be on facebook so you guys i'm telling you guys you better subscribe to my channel my youtube channel and make sure you're on there oh i got a piece of hair make sure you're on there because i'm going to be doing like different things that I eat i'm going to be showing you guys like um different th i mean different things i'm really creative in the kitchen i'm not a chef a lot of the stuff that i cook most people will be like i ain't eating that but i wanted to show you guys how i eat and how i you know put the food combinations together for myself my palate is a bit different than someone that would be just starting out or something of that nature. I I have a full um, alkaline palate, which means that I crave uh, these fruits and vegetables. And so um, I think my palate is a bit different. But I am going to show you guys in the videos what I do. We're going to start um, working with different mushrooms. There are mushrooms that you can use as noodles. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I'm going to show you guys how to make some of your favorite dishes. Um, like... Uh, I love Chinese food. I love lo mein. So I know how to make no mein noodles. I'm going to show you guys how to be alkaline eating this stuff. I'm going to show you guys how to make the Efu Young. I learned how to make Efu Young uh, alkaline way from Ty's Conscious Kitchen. And then I went ahead and just tweaked it to my liking. Um, but, you know, the recipe was solid. So I've learned how to make that. I'm going to show you guys how to use different types of mushrooms and their textures. How to make sesame chicken. You know, over, you know. Over the course of time, I'm going to show you guys what to do with this food because I really believe that some of you are just lost when it comes to preparing food. And I don't understand why you have to experiment. You know, with everything in life, you have to take risks, you have to experiment, right? And I mean, it's the same way with food. You know, you can't be scared that you're going to mess up a meal and have to throw one away. You know how much food I've thrown away? In all seriousness but it is what it is I had to learn how to cook it you know I go down to we have an Eastern Market which is a farmers market in our Detroit I go down there they have a mushroom station that sells almost every mushroom there is I have tried every mushroom that there is available and I'm telling you it's worth it to spend the money. I know a lot of you are like trying to be so super cheap and oh, I don't want to um I don't want to waste the money, but I don't understand how you think you're going to cook without it. What is that? Oh, your tooth just came out? Oh, awesome. <laughs> I mean, he stopped by live to tell me his tooth just came out. Okay. I'm look this little boy, as soon as the rest of them back molars come out, he's getting braces. So I guess he wanted me to know his tooth came out. So we are one step closer to getting that, uh, that orthodontic work. Woohoo! So let's look at this tooth here. Ah, okay. I see. It's bleeding good, too. Put some pressure on it. Yeah, I had to, like, twist it out. Yeah, put some pressure on it with the napkin so it'll stop bleeding, okay? One thing that I don't know if a lot of you guys know, um, and this is a phenomenon in the dental industry, African American males have um, much deeper roots and things of that nature. So when they get their teeth extracted and things, they have the tendency to bleed way more. And so most dentists knows that. So most dentists, when they're treating African American males, they typically have to do special things to make sure that they're not going to bleed to death. Okay, I have had a couple of friends over the years that had teeth extracted. One uh, almost bled to death, passed out uh, in his uh, kitchen because he had, had some teeth extracted. And a week later, the bleeding had not stopped and he had kept bleeding and he had lost consciousness and passed out in the kitchen. Thank God that somebody was home and, you know, ended up taking him to the hospital or whatever. And they had to uh, catheter the, uh, the area where it was bleeding in the mouth. 
So I'm just I just want you guys to know that that was just a little free tidbit. But seriously, you have to make sure it's with your sons, your African American sons and your African American men, if they have any teeth that they lose or they get extracted and things of that nature, you have to make sure that the bleeding stops. Give them special attention, putting pressure on the area, okay, to make sure the bleeding stops. That was for free. I'm telling you, that was for free. <laughs> so anyway so um so we're gonna be doing that i love anoiki mushrooms so i'm gonna show you how to use anoiki mushrooms to make your noodles it's gonna be super awesome i don't have my calendar yet of when i'm gonna do what um yet i haven't sat down long enough because i literally had to i was over a month behind on orders you know dealing with all the personal stuff going on and so that's what we've been doing is getting caught up on orders because I want to make sure that people get the stuff that they pay for okay we're almost caught up I think I got like a good 10 orders more to ship out and then we'll be completely caught up with the orders and then I'm gonna sit down after that and I'm gonna set up a, a menu of the YouTube channels and videos and stuff so I can give you guys the information um, the school is back up and running now, so um, just so you guys know, I am going to start enrolling again um, once I get structured again. Um, I am going to, I'm redoing the whole format of the school um, because I just decided to go in a totally different direction um, with the, the content because I've been doing lecture only as we're doing, we're building the website and I really am just kind of toying around I guess you can say the word with the content that I want to put on the actual website okay and so I'm gonna I'm gonna tweak the um, curriculum quite a bit over the next few months just so I can be sure this is what I want to put on the website this should be a part of the curriculum versus this should not be part of the curriculum um, I can do the food boxes again um, I don't have a problem doing the food boxes um, but I do have a sister company that has finally structured herself and she's doing alkaline seasonings now and I think she would be a better fit for doing the food boxes but um, if you want you know you can contact me with what you're looking for I do have so much access to alkaline foods here in Michigan and I understand that and that's why I kind of still keep a a leeway with people when they ask for it because I know there's some areas especially on the East Coast where people cannot get these foods and I find it strange so yeah if you need particular things you can inbox me and I will um you know talk to you and see what we can work out okay Regina um what was I saying? okay so I am going to be reaching out to every last one of you guys that I've been working with over the years because it is of the utmost importance. This is a year of restoration and it was prophesied on December 31st that this was going to be a year of restoration. And at first when this COVID stuff started hitting, I just was like, I can't see how this is going to be a year of restoration. Oh my gosh, this has truly been a year of restoration. And I don't, um, you know, people may say, oh, I ain't seen nothing yet. But sometimes you don't see, sometimes you don't see things until you're out of it, okay? And when I tell you that scripture that says that God will replace everything that the canker worm tried to destroy, God has done the thing with Stephanie. So, you might want to check yourself or where you're at in this whole dynamic if you are not seeing restoration. And I'm not saying that it is or it's not your fault or whatever, but I'm saying you might want to just check yourself and look and see what's going on in your world, okay? Um, in all seriousness. So, because God is definitely moving on our behalf. He really is. Um, I When I tell you the amount of restoration that God is doing in my life, over the last two weeks alone but i i think i'm really more grateful than anything else because you know you never know you never know who is on your team and really loyal to you until you start being down right man when i tell you 
the amount of family and friends that really turned their back on me during my my worries or during my woes and now that I'm out of it I'm like I'm grateful I'm grateful to know who the snakes are on my team I am grateful and I'm telling you guys there's a reason why God allowed me to know who is and who is not really for me and I'm serious and I'm grateful for it because you know to elevate to go to that next level to be a better version of you sometimes you got to cut people off and you know I said a prayer Yes, Courtney. I said a prayer probably about a year and a half ago. And I said, I want to go, not to the next level, but I want to level up four or five levels, right? And I did. I said this prayer. And I said, Lord, show me what I need to let go of in order to get up there. Okay? When I tell you that the massive amount the exodus of people that have left my life in the last two months the last two months i have had more people turn their back on me and exit out of my life and when i tell you what i'm sitting here today i am a blessed woman <laughs> i am i am a blessed woman i cannot tell you the amount of outpouring that the lord has done in the last two weeks alone and I really know for a fact that if it was not for me letting go of those people and cutting strings and just walking away from certain scenarios and certain people, family and friends, that I would not be on this level. The Lord has really opened up my mind in ways that I couldn't see before. In all seriousness, I'm talking about my health. I'm talking about in my emotions i'm talking about in my mind i mean the next level of this business alone you know what he wanted me to do in this business the things he wants me to do next it is amazing the things that i have been in the last two weeks just two weeks you know and i, I just really can't implore you implore you enough to start looking for the snakes in your camp they are holding you back because I'm gonna be honest with you guys I get this so much feedback from people um, a lot of times that say when they decide to go ahead and go with alkaline that they have family members that pull them back that try to discourage them do you understand that that person or those people or those entities are trying to destroy you there are people that pretend like they're happy for you and celebrating you in your face but behind your back they are stabbing you with a thousand daggers my youtube channel is reflections healing you have the same name as everything else and you know there are a thousand a thousand um don't throw your tooth though yeah you know, it's a thousand daggers going in your back for these people. These people are happy when you are down. They're happy when you fail. They're happy. And I realize that. I realize that. I have family members. Family members. And I'm not talking about no distant cousins. I'm talking about an actual person I grew up with in a house with me. That was actually celebrating my downfall. That wanted to actually put the dag put the finishing dagger in the coffin. And that one I didn't expect. I didn't expect. And I had to finally come to a realization that just because someone grows up with you or they have your blood does not mean they're for you winning. You know, people have their motivations. And I'm not even trying to even think about or fathom what the motivations were. I don't care. I just thank God that it was exposed. You know, that my eyes were open to that person. So that I can 
go ahead and go and you guys have got to start looking for snakes in your camp when you want to level up because everybody can't go with you where you going why do you think and I said this in the last video why do you think that God had all these people before they went into greatness had them separate from their family everybody ain't going where you going you know and you have to appreciate the journey you have to you have to appreciate the fact that God has put you on a path that you may have been set apart that you may just be different from everybody else you may be the black sheep it is what it is appreciate who you are and stop trying to conform to fit in with family and friends I have decided, even in my own life, I'm not conforming anymore. I'm not going to go to another family gathering and pretend like, um, you know, everything is okay. Pretend like I agree with anything, anybody's, you know, I'm just not going to conform. I'm not going to be anything other than Stephanie anymore. And I've made that commitment to myself. You know, Stephanie doesn't always do the right things. Stephanie always doesn't make good decisions. Stephanie doesn't always eat the right foods. Stephanie doesn't always do everything right. But Stephanie is a flawed human being that knows her covenant with her God, first of all. And Stephanie is resilient because she will get up and she will try something again if it fails. And that's, that's Stephanie. Stephanie is always determined. Stephanie doesn't let people hold her back. Stephanie doesn't let herself hold her back. And my journey now is actually learning who I am and being true to myself and showing myself love. Okay? It is love to eat healthy. To make sure you're making sure your temple is healthy. It is love to stay away from stress and drama. It is love to only associate yourself with loyal people that love you for who you are. Okay? And so these are some of the things that we're on on a journey. Now, um, anybody that's kind of new to me is like, what are you, what are you talking about? I'm telling you guys, hold on to your socks because I have some things coming down the pike for your health and your wellness that is going to blow your mind. And nobody is out here doing what I'm doing. I am an innovator. Okay? I make paths where there is no path. And I'm going to make a new path because I'm tired of people imitating me. And so now it's time for me to make a new path and go in another direction. Okay. Um, I love Dr. CB methodology and I've always used that as a foundation for my teachings and for my uh, practice, my healing practice. And I'm going to continue to. But there are some things that as far as the herbal combinations and things of that nature, we going off in another direction. Making a new path. Because God has given me knowledge and resources that most people don't get blessed with. And so I'm grateful. And we're going to do this. We are going to level up in the healing process. I'm excited. I'm excited for you guys. I have um, several people that are doing this weight loss journey with me. Because um, I am going to launch... When I finally reach my goal weight, I am going to launch the whole weight loss initiative um, for the public. And so I have people that are on the weight loss initiative with me that are local. And when I say they're doing better than me, <laughs> they're doing better than me with supplements, um, meal planning and all that stuff. And they are doing amazing and I don't pick people that are 15 pounds overweight. I like to pick people that have to drop 100, 200 pounds. You know, because I'm not here for somebody that's 15, 20 pounds overweight. My weight loss initiative is going to be for people that are morbidly obese, that are 100 or more pounds overweight. There is a massive population. There is a massive population of people that are 100, 200, even 300 pounds overweight 
And you ain't dropping that by just changing your diet. You know, and I know we always want to tell people, oh, you can go ahead and just drop this weight. Just eat off the nutritional guide. No. I have been eating off the nutritional guide for a long time, in all seriousness. And I have dropped a substantial amount of weight. But I'm nowhere near my goal weight. And I've been doing this for years. And I had to really go on a journey to find out why. Why is it taking me so long to lose weight? Why is my weight so slow and leaving and things of that nature? And so I found um, I found a lot of information about my own weight, let alone other people's. And so I had some theories that I wanted to put to the test in other people. And sure and behold, I have one person that has dropped over 100 pounds from my theory. Um, and another person, she is about 120 pounds over her weight. Um, and we're working with her now. So she's dropped about 20, 25 pounds in a matter of a few weeks. And it is amazing, you know, the things that I have discovered about morbid obesity uh, in this journey. And so I am just excited when I'm finally done with my <laughs> my uh, journey and weight loss. Then I'm going to make this public, okay? for people it does include exercising and lifelong commitment to eating certain foods it does include portion control um i have heard so many people in this lifestyle that are skinny never take advice from skinny people okay they don't have a weight problem they can't tell you anything they're blessed with a high metabolism <laughs> you know, I've had so many skinny people tell me, oh, it's okay. You don't have to do portion control. You can eat whatever you want to. That's a lie from the pit of hell. You can eat whatever you want to as long as it's alkaline. That is a lie. Okay? No, I don't eat whatever I want to just because it's alkaline. I have to guard what I put in my mouth. I gain weight eating alkaline food. Yes, I do. Okay, because you can have pasta and breads and all that in the alkaline lifestyle. Okay, and people don't understand that. And someone with a high metabolism cannot tell me anything about losing weight. Okay, talk to me when your metabolism is so slow that you have to fight and you have to starve yourself just to lose two pounds. Talk to me then about how this lifestyle works for you. Okay, but... I am going to, um, I am so excited. This is going to bless so many people. It is going to bless so many people and I'm excited for it. Yes, it is, Regina. A big lie. And then what makes me so angry with skinnier people in this lifestyle is they have the audacity to try to make you feel like you should be in condemnation for not being thin like them. You know, and it's, it's sickening and it's disgusting. And yeah, I'm not allowing it. Not in my space. You know, not in my space. And so, I've had plenty of people come at me. Oh, you, there's no way you, you're a good herbalist and you fat. What does that have to do with reversing chronic conditions? You know, and I've had, I had a couple of uh, herbalists. I don't know why people think that they're my competition. I'm, I'm not in competition with anyone because there's no one in my lane. But um, I've had a couple of herbalists that called themselves being in competition with me and said, you know, there's no way she can be a good herbalist because she's fat. And those same people have chronic conditions that are killing them. And then come to me on the low in my inbox asking me, could I help them reverse their chronic conditions? Of course, I decline because if you can't be truthful on this camera, I don't want anything to do with you. You know, don't try to steal so-called steal business from me by telling people to come to you and you can't even help yourself you can't even reverse your own chronic conditions and then then you want to have somebody's paying an arm and a leg to you you can't help them if you can't help yourself you definitely can't help them you know and then want to turn around and have me help you heal in secret and then you're going to turn around and then still stab me in the back oh no nope uh hot block no thank you and so yeah i've had a couple of people that are supposedly prominent in this lifestyle helping people to heal so-called and they in my inbox oh i need your help no thank you you better figure it out you better pray to the lord because i'm not helping you mm -mm, you have one time with me 
and they both had their one time the, you know and that's how i feel and that's how i'm gonna always feel you know you are not about to use me and then turn around and say rude and negative things about me it's not gonna happen so anyhow <laughs> I just came out here to shoot the breeze with you guys. I am going to make this YouTube video talking about this scar, how I got this scar, and talking about the journey, okay? The journey, what, how to pick up the pieces of your life after you have made a decision that is outside the will of God. That is really going to be the title, seriously what you need to do after you've made a very bad decision with choosing a life partner glory to god he got me out of that you know whew, he said he will give us power to travel over serpents and scorpions and over all the works of the enemy and nothing the enemy does can harm us when i tell you if i ain't never believed scripture in my life from may until august I learned them scriptures are the truth, okay? I'm telling you, the protection and hedge of protection and favor of God surrounded me and made sure that I survived because the Lord has a calling on my life that is greater than myself. And the enemy tried to take me out in the form of a man. The devil's a liar. He is a liar. Woo! I'm telling you, I have victory through Christ Jesus. And I'm t when I tell you guys how many times I have shouted and danced like David danced in the last 30 days because God has given me the victory. I am so God is faithful. He is faithful. He is my protector. He is my redeemer. He is the lover of my soul. He is all that. Okay. And anybody that don't believe in God or don't believe in Jesus and stuff, that's your business. I don't care. You have your thing going on, but I got my thing going on. And I know it ain't a figment of my imagination because I had to quote them scriptures every day to make it to the next day. A thousand may fall at my side and 10,000 at my right hand, but they will not come nigh thee. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I had to quote them scriptures every day. Okay. I know God is real. And I know his word is power. Ooh, Jesus. He said if you bind it on earth, he will bind it in heaven. Ooh, doggy. Oh, boy. He said in his word that if you lack wisdom in any area, you can ask of him and he will give to you liberally. He said, call unto me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you know not. When I tell y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all, I was quoting them scriptures. Ooh, Jesus. Praise him, praise him, praise him. But anywho, so I will probably be catching up with a lot of you guys in the next week or so. Um, you can start looking for emails from me or inboxes. Because some people, I, I did total communication via inbox. Some people, I did total communication via email. And so I'm going to be using both vehicles to follow up with everybody I've talked to. Because I'm serious about this. It is time that we get that restoration that God promised us this year. I've gotten mine. You know, and I'm still getting it. But it's time. And it's in your health. Your restoration is in your health. Okay? It's in your health. And it's time. It's time, guys. In all seriousness. Okay? I missed you guys so much. And I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. God has such a divine purpose for every one of your lives. You guys have no idea. Sometimes I wish I could just touch some of y'all and y'all can see what the Lord is showing me in y'all for y'all. It's, it's amazing. It's beautiful. It's loving. It's caring. It's kind. And I'm just, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for everything that the Lord has done for me and what he is doing and what the things that he is setting up for each and every one of you. I'm telling you, I am grateful. I'm going to check on out. I thank you guys for tuning in so much. I thank you. Some of you, some of you guys uh, have been praying for me, and I thank you for that as well. Because the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. 
And so I thank you guys. I thank you for your hedge of protection that you prayed over me. I am truly grateful for every single one of you. Every single one of you. And as we go slide up into 2021, we are sliding up in 2021, dominating in our health. We're not going into 2021 with health issues. We're dominating in 2020. We're dominating our health. We are dominating our emotions. We're dominating our surroundings. We're getting rid of people that are no good for us. We are surrounding ourselves with people that are loving, that are supportive, that are kind, that are generous. And that's what we're doing this year. All of those people that are not supporting you, they got to go. Ask the Lord to separate you from ungodly people as far as east is from the west. And ask the Lord to surround you or encamp you with loyal people that are loving and kind. Okay? Oh, thank you. I found this in my closet. That's all organized. Oh, look at this cute. All right, guys. I'm going to check off. You guys have a blessed and prosperous day. And remember, Jesus is Lord.